welcome back to another vlog. I spent the morning doing some errands, so I already feel like super productive. I went to BJ's, which is actually where I get my granulated sugar for my sugar scrubs. And I actually get oil for my uh, cold processed soap there, but they've been sold out of my particular oil. And the only other olive oil they have is double the price. So I'm just sort of holding out on all of that. But Anyway, I didn't really need oil right now. I went and got more sugar. I have to make a few more sugar scrubs today. Yesterday I did my first ever master batch of body butter. I still started out on a smaller scale just in case. Yesterday I mixed the entire body butter batch. I let it cool to about 100 degrees Fahrenheit and then I put the preservative in and I let it sit overnight and get to room temperature. So I've been very eager to see what it looks like. It's not fragranced yet. I am going to separate it out probably into three different scents. I made 8,000 grams, which is like enough for almost 100 minis. So I'm excited. I hope it goes well. I'm supposed to actually get my body butter labels in the mail today too. So hopefully I can show you guys that because I was printing them out myself on the Primera printer, which I'll do a whole other video on that. Maybe it's me and user error, but it has just not been good. So I just ordered more. I ordered the labels um, from Blue Label where I get my clear ones from. So it's going to be 60 degrees today, which for a New Englander in March, it is like a breath of spring air. So I'm just excited to have a beautiful day in the studio with you guys and let's get to it. obsessed with this new process for body butters. I was very nervous yesterday and even this morning and it's just by nature so whenever I do something different than my norm I always get a little nervous and it's not that because I don't trust myself I do it's just you know change is different and when you're making products and you're a small business if something goes wrong it costs you money so I am feeling much much better because I was able to in one batch really um so I think I said I made 8,000 grams uh so I made 20 of my large 8 ounce jars and 50 of my small 2 ounce jars which that's a significant amount of product in my opinion and I just got a notification that UPS delivered my labels they were sent to my house which is fine because I actually have to go and let Lucy out for lunch and grab some lunch so I cannot wait to show you guys the labels because I ended up doing a few extra things than I normally did and maybe we'll come back we are going to come back to the studio later and I will show you what they look like on the body butters because I just feel like this whole thing is coming together today and it's really fun when you've planned something for so long and it just you see the finished product so I just can't wait but we're gonna go head home for a quick lunch break. Want to go outside? One of the things I've actually been working on is how to, I guess outsource is the word, but outsource certain things to free up my time and schedule to allow myself to work on my business. That's 
something I actually learned from the book I mentioned in one of my previous vlogs, um, the Chillpreneur book. It has helped me in so many ways, but she talks about outsourcing and not so much the work, but like meal delivery services, having someone come and clean your house, doggy daycare, things like that. I'm not gonna be doing all of those things because it's a lot all at once and I get that there's a financial implication to that, but I am starting to do the meal delivery thing and I'm only doing it one night a week. I do love cooking, but I just feel like sometimes the stress of coming home and preparing a meal for myself and my husband every single night is one of the reasons why I leave work early enough or, you know, and that might sound silly to some of you, but it's sort of our time together. And so I wanna have a nice dinner on the table. I'm just thinking how nice it would be one night a week. So we're trying a very local meal delivery. It's farm to table and they deliver however many nights you want. We're gonna do one because it is kind of expensive, but this past weekend we tried their lasagna, which is what I have for lunch. And it's a veggie lasagna. It is amazing and it's been so good because I've been able to come home for lunch and myself and my husband we keep just like eating a little bits of it and it's gotten us through I think three meals and it was only I think it was only like $40 for the lasagna plus delivery and all that. And so to me, that $40 has helped me immensely in not having to even worry about those meals. So I get a lot of comments from you guys that you don't have time to work on your business because you're either doing a full-time job or they're just life in general. I am trying, I'm in the same boat as you and I'm trying to figure out how I can start to figure out ways to make those things a little bit easier. I mean, we have to eat dinner, right? So I don't wanna necessarily order takeout every night because that's not the healthiest either. So this is a good option and so far I'm loving it. I've been acting like a wild man. Okay, so I got my labels, these are the two ounce ones. Ooh, that sun's terrible. These are the two ounce ones. They're so perfect. I am so excited. So I did the front label and then I have just like the boring back label, but these are little bands. Oh, that sun. These are little bands. So basically, right here I have the blush and peony pulled out because I just made this. There's the top, and then this goes on the side. So let's put one together. Okay, minor freak out because this was way too big. These are for the larges. These are the smalls. So they're on a double. They're so tiny. Sleeping like a child. So luminous and vibrant. I'm always in bloom for you. Always in bloom. Always in bloom. Always in bloom for you. So many times I've strained. So I'm beyond thrilled with the body butter labels. I have them all stacked up over here. This one might be my new favorite. This scent is so good. It smells like um like a sunscreen kind of summer scent, but I updated the packaging with this gorgeous floral print, which is very much my brand. But anyway, I need to get motivated. I, it's only 3.30, but I need to make a batch of sugar scrubs. I'm almost done. Sorry, someone's yelling. Um, I'm almost done doing all of my sugar scrubs for my spring launch. I just have one more scent to do and it's just minis so if i can get that off the list today that will be great and then i was gonna make more body butter but the whole thing of the master batching is i like to have my oils and butters 
melt down really slowly. I don't want to crank the heat up ever, especially since I have things that are kind of more delicate like shea butter, cocoa butter. I don't need them to be boiling and it takes a while to melt them down. So I don't know that I'm gonna have time to melt down the oils and butters and then do that, but then also have it get down to an appropriate temperature to add the preservative. So what I think I'll do if I have some time after I make the sugar scrubs is just get my whole um, workspace set up for more body butters for tomorrow morning so that I can come in and do the same thing again. Obviously, I don't wanna make my sugar scrubs right now because I'm rambling on to you, but I'm gonna sip on my iced coffee and get a little bit more motivated. I think I need to change my playlist. I've been listening to a chill playlist and I think I pretty much need some like, some Britney or some like really good early Y2K pop. I think that's what's gonna get me through the rest of the day. So, let's do it. I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. I'm looking for someone not afraid of. Give it all to me. Get next to me, get next to me. All that I want is to get next to you, get next to you. Not asking for much, but it feels like the two of us are gold and the gold you see. What do you got so take? but I wanted to make sure I can come in tomorrow and just hit the ground running. So it is nice and clean in here, but I wanted to show you guys, my designer uh, sent me some updates for the packaging. I showed you in a previous vlog how we sort of initially started the designs for the body oil and roll-on perfume that I'm doing. And she just sent me all of the pretty much final images. So I'm just gonna show you guys, show you guys so you can see kind of the evolution of it. Let's look at the body oils first. So, oh, this looks so good. I know I showed you guys the first mock-up with the glow up box, but now you can see sort of where all of the other scents are. Um, so we've got our logo, all of our information, ingredients, making sure that we are compliant with labeling requirements and everything, but it looks so good. So that's the box, and then this should be the label. <gasps> so cute. So we did like a little cluster here of all the flowers that are in the print. One, people are so excited about the cashmere. It's one of my best scents. Here's the glow up that you guys saw. So if you remember from the other vlog, this was all sort of smushed together right here in the middle. So we just spaced it out and it looks so much better. And same thing here. So these just came out so good. And you guys are getting a first glimpse into this before any of my customers even see it. But yeah, so I thought it would just be fun to show you just how this process sort of, <gasps> oh, this one's my favorite pattern. I don't know why, I think I'm just into the blue, but it just came out so good. So I think we're pretty much ready to send this to the printer. I just want to make sure this one last label looks good. We're loading. Here we go. Cute. I might have her change this. For some reason it looks weird, so I'm going to just have her uh, tweak this a little bit because it doesn't totally match, but still, so, so good. Just got home and of course immediately changed into <laughs> comfy clothes, but I am loving the fact it's 
still light out and it's after six o'clock I definitely feel more productive and it just naturally I stay later at work um, so in the winter time I was like leaving at three or four because I had to walk Lucy some days and all of that but I just feel like a breath of like renewedness that's not a word. I know that's not a word, but basically I just am so happy that it's spring and I feel like I have a resurgence um, in my business and my energy levels and all of that. So I am just really glad with everything I got done today. I did all the body butters. I am set to go for another productive day tomorrow and I feel like I can actually enjoy my evening. I replied to the emails I had to and yeah, I feel like I let work creep into my personal life a lot because when you run your own business it's your whole life and I'm trying this year to balance that professional and personal time and really just spend time with my husband and my family and do things and not be distracted so I'm gonna try really hard after I close down the camera I'm gonna put my phone away other than maybe playing some music and I'm just gonna be in the present tonight and really just try and like enjoy. So I hope you guys had fun um, today. I hope you learned some stuff. If you master batch body butter, let me know if I did it right. <laughs> I think I did. I did quite a bit of research, but if you have other tips, let me know. Um, I am all about hearing what works for you guys too. I am by no means saying I'm an expert soap maker, but I will love, I love sharing everything with you. Um, uh, but in, in return, I would love if you shared some stuff with me too. And yeah, so that's where I'm going to end today. I hope you guys had fun. I will catch you in the next one. Bye.